Alright, looks like we are about to be underway here. As we have all of uh, Newton's Law and most of Lucky 7s who have joined. But, oh no, all of them, I'm sorry. Yep, everybody's here. <laughs> I've, I've, I don't know. For some reason I thought we had three extras who were spectating. <laughs> Fine, I hope, hopefully Casey isn't uh, having any controller problems like he was earlier. I hope so as well. <laughs> Let's get underway here with Sky and Casey going for the kickoff, and I'm actually going to let Duck get the play-by-play -play because I was messing up so much, and he's finally here to help me out. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. Who's in the orange? All right, it's Lucky 7. Sorry, just got to... Right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Lucky 7's in orange. Lucky 7's in the orange, and uh, Newton's Law in blue. Newton's Law probably favored for this one. Record-wise, they have been doing a lot better. Uh, that doesn't disqualify Lucky Seven, so I'm very excited to see what could happen. So this guy is actually an RLPC moderator. He, helps, he does all the minor league uh, roundup stuff. He's a great guy. Uh, we'll clear that away, and that actually goes for touch towards the middle of the field. We'll not be able to make it, though. Casey's going to go up for a touch. Actually, Rick will go up for the pass. Neither of them actually hit it. I, would, I wonder if that's a fake. I don't, I don't know if that was intentional, but either way, I think it faked out the defense that was Scout Brett. And uh, that's a goal. Wow, that was awesome. Okay, wait, wasn't Scout Brett playing in the other match as... What? What wasn't Scout Brett? Uh, he was... A sub, I believe, for somebody? Ah, I don't really know how the minor league subbing uh, rules work. So should look into those. the lowest MMR player for any minor team can be considered a sub. And they have a tag up uh, to fit that. Okay. Learn something new every day. Scout Brett, so speaking of that said, I'm going for a shot. We'll get it, but not quite on target. Crossbar is going to send that away. Right back onto offense, though, our L7. Sky going for a shot. Gets blocked away, but a double touch coming out from Sweatshirt. And that is going to go for the Lucky 7. I don't know if this was a calculated double touch. Let's see. One, I mean, it was a fortunate bounce, but I think that... I think know, he just got bumped into it, back. honestly, yeah. yeah. I think that was, that was fairly lucky for him, but, you know, you got to take what you can get. Fair. Yeah, definitely. Um, right back on response with Casey from Newton's Law. That is a 2-1 scoreline, 340 into the match. I think that was a quick one there. I think kickoff goals are really important, but especially at kind of a demoralizing one like that after they tie it up, get it back to square square one, you know, 0-0 zero, zero scoreline, basically, and then just putting one in right back, showing that they are still on top. So sorry, my mic just cut out. Okay, oh, I'm, I'm back. <laughs> mine was muted too. I hit the button, but it didn't unmute. Okay. I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, you're all good. Mine, mine cut out there. I was saying seven, like it's not coming through on stream. I can tell. Um, sweatshirt going to be sending that towards the teammate guy who will make a dunk on uh, Rick, but Rick won't be able to do much with that, leaving Casey to make it clear. Perhaps a whiff coming out from Rick again. Scout Brett's going to have possession of the ball and a lot of boost over on the right side of the field. Going for a ceiling touch. We'll miss actually, but that leaves Sky to take a shot. He does do so. Blocked off by Casey. Right is going to now go for it, but sent right back onto net is Earl. Good clear coming out from Rick, but it goes right back to right back to Sweatshirt. A dunk coming out from Scout. Don't know how calculated that was, but that was nuts. Look at this dunk. The read on that was insane. To know that he would... Don't know how calculated that was. Might have just been a miss, but either way, we'll call it calculated. That is We're going to pretend read. like that was the best dunk we've seen from the Miners all year long. How that was that? really good. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it at that. Rick is going to have control of the ball. Lots of boost to work with, too. Doesn't actually end up going for it, though, leaving Sky to whiff. Has a lot of boost, though. We'll be rotating back on the defense. But Rick pushes up onto offense, sent away by Sweatshirt. Sweatshirt doesn't have enough boost to really do much. I, I should just call him Earl. That's a lot easier than Sweatshirt. That's um, what I was thinking, too, so I was a little surprised that you uh, you kept I going, just, but... I, I read the Sweatshirt thing first. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Sky going for a clear. Misses the touch, though, leaving it to Scout Brett, who will make a touch. Not super powerful, though, sending it back right into Rick. Casey's going to have to turn back quickly, though, leaving Scout Brett to pick up that boost in the middle of the field and go on to offense, going for another scaling shot. A great touch coming out from Sky with a double actually sending it back over to Scout Brett, who will be able to make a touch over to the net. It's cleared off by Casey, though. Scout Brett's going to backflip now, leaving Rick to clear it away. Does do so, leaving Casey with enough boost to perhaps do something, but it's dunked on by Sky. Nobody's home for, uh, <laughs> not Lucky Sevens, um, Newton's Law, but it is actually cleared away by Brightus, who makes a great defensive move coming back onto net so quickly. Rick's going to send that mid, though. A whiff coming out from Sky. Probably a good whiff, actually. There was 
Not a lot of good things that could have come out of making a touch there. Bumping Rick is now Sky. Has enough boost to do something with it. Chooses to leave it. Uh, leave it for his teammates to make it clear, perhaps. But a shot coming in from Rick, and that is another goal for Newton's Law. I would just like to point out that you have the weirdest vocal slips when talking about a player. Um, instead of ceiling uh, on this one, you just said Skyling. So it's always in relation to a player who is on the pitch when you mess up, and I think that's hilarious. All right, there's the case off coming out from KC um, and uh, Newton's Law. Um, or rather, KC plays for Newton's Law. All right, uh, Earl going to clear that downfield over to the side of KC, who will not be able to make a touch here, actually does be able to do that. Uh, Brightus is now going to clear it over to Scout Brett, who's going to play it slow, waiting for KC's touch. Doesn't make a touch, but perhaps passes over to the Newton's Law players. With coming out from Brightus, though, and a clear coming out from Scout, leaving uh, Earl to dunk the ball. Does manage to do so. Um, back into the own corner is Rick who actually misses the touch on the wall, leaving Casey to make it. Doesn't have enough boost to do much with it, but he does manage to make a touch to delay it and buy some time for his teammates. Casey now rotating slowly back in the net. A little bit of a pacing slow there in the play. Uh, back on defense are Lucky 7. This guy's going to make a touch, goes over to the right side of the field. Gets another touch off the wall, but a double commit coming out from Lucky 7, including a bar down shot from Bright at 98. That's a goal for Newton's Law. A fantastic shot from him. I thought he was just going to slam it home. And he had the opportunity to, but I think he saw uh, somebody on the left there as a defender, and he opted to put it in the top corner where nobody could get to it. And that was that was pretty impressive. I was a big fan of that one. Yeah, definitely. And I think honestly, there's an easier shot to take there. And if you can get enough power on it, it would have just been straight on, and Scout wouldn't have been able to save it. But the fact that he did make that hard shot just says something to his mechanical skill that yes, may be inconsistent, and yes, he might have not taken the right shot, um, but the, the mechanics are there. Exactly. And I also want to point out that Melm is a little offended that we're uh, talking so highly about that dunk earlier when we completely forgot about his in the majors earlier. But I yeah. don't quite remember, but I remember being very impressed that by was, it. That was in the H2O, when H2O played Leftovers last weekend. I'm not sure, but I remember I very specifically being Melm amazed by a dunk from Melm. Yeah. I don't think I casted that one. It's because I, was, I had a game. Gotcha. As, yeah, uh, yeah. Time, time expires here. Uh, L, L7 is going to try to be able to do something with it. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to. Newton's Law will win game one. Taking a look at the stat line here once it loads in. There's there's a lot of stuff to talk about here. Um, first off, Lucky 7s were not short on offensive pressure by, by any means. They were up four shots on them. However, Newton's Law defensively was doing outstanding. And just looking at their stat line on their saves... There's no, there's no reason why Lucky Sevens should have won that game. Yes, they had good offensive pressure, but the defensive rotation and the saves that were made by Newton's Law, you know, there's no real, no amount of shots can really break that. And so it's going to take a different kind of shot, rather more creative ones, harder to save, something of that nature that'll allow them to really pull ahead in this next game. Yeah, I completely agree. I think um, Lucky Sevens, uh, they did well in terms of offensive pressure, but I think they also just need to. Like you said, get more creative. Maybe just place your shots better, you know. Just because you have the shot also doesn't mean you should take it, right? Maybe I, I didn't get a... I got to be totally honest. I didn't get to watch that match as well as I should have because I was ordering food in the middle of it. But, um... <laughs> um <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe they're just putting their shots... or putting balls on target that they shouldn't necessarily, you know what I mean? And maybe just wait and try to set up a better play instead. If that makes sense. I hope that did. I, it, you know, conceptually did. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. If it didn't, then I'm sorry. <laughs> Casey and uh, Earl going for a kickoff there. And sent over to the right side of the field. to the clear from L7. Brightus is going to make a touch on the wall. Doesn't actually get much done. Leaving Rick to make a clear. He will be dunked on by Scout, but he actually gets another dunk on, uh, who was that? I don't know, I can't even see the names. This, this, the moment is past. They don't know why I'm still talking. Um... <laughs> Earl's going to send that up onto the wall, has enough boost to do something with it, chooses not to actually, leaves it for his teammate, or rather, plays it slow, waits for it to roll all the way down, Casey's going to have control of the ball, goes for a touch, sending it towards mid, uh, Scout Brett actually switching to Octane between the last match and this one, um, does manage to make it clear, and has enough boost to do something with it on the side of the field, but Rick's going to actually clear it away, goes for a double touch, misses the ground touch, uh, sending it back into Scout, who will be dunked on by Rick, who's going to be going for one more touch there on the corner, or rather Casey, sorry. Um, won't have anything really thing, uh, oh my gosh, anything really good offensively coming out of it. Uh, it's been a long day. I completely feel you. I'm, I don't know if you heard it, but my, my solo casting is not any better when you were 
I, I did not hear it. <laughs> uh, I'll assume it was amazing though. Double touch coming out from Brightest. Doesn't actually manage to land though. Sky's gonna have the offensive push though. Pushing it towards the uh, own side of the field rather actually. Our uh, Newton's Law. Casey's gonna be doing one, the one committing such an atrocity. But the back pass kind of worked out over to Brightest. He will take control of the ball. Flipped it over Sky. Casey now has control with enough boost on the side of the wall. Going for a potential air drag here. Waiting for a ceiling bounce. Doesn't actually go for it. Leaving uh, Rick to commit on that. And now Earl is going to make a touch towards the net. Um, don't think that was really that intentional, but he did recover decently. Uh, Bright is going to be beat out to that ball by Scout, Scout though. Uh, Rick's going to have control. Oh, maybe not control. Gets bumped, and Earl's going to dunk him right in his face. Great bump there coming out from Scout. Um, he's really the backbone of this offensive push. I honestly, honestly think that Rick probably could have challenged it a bit there. Uh, a little earlier that would have prevented that situation. But all's fair in love and war. Exactly. I... And our LPC season play. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> Gotta add that little mecha. <laughs> uh, 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 is that the word? We'll pretend it is. We'll, we'll pretend. I've said a lot of words that aren't even real ones today. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Got back going for a, a drag off the ceiling. Doesn't actually manage to do too much with it, but I guess it buys time for his teammates. Uh, Rick's gonna clear that away though. Gets one more touch, sending it towards the middle of the field. It's gonna bounce up. Perfect bounce actually for his teammate. Uh, getting one touch is uh, is Rick again, actually. But it's saved the way by Scout, who's gonna actually whiff touch on the ground, leaving it to Sky. Sky will make it clear, but it goes right back into Casey. Casey's sending it over to the other side of the field. Earl's gonna have to turn around to get the boost in the corner. Goes to clear it away. Actually faked out on the wall is Casey, but Casey was ready for him. Bumping Sky into the uh, Scout for a clear. Does manage to get it, though. Rick's demoed uh, Earl, rather. And Sky's gonna have to rotate back on a defense. Scout's gonna go for a clear. Doesn't actually manage to touch the ball, leaving Sky to make the touch. Does actually manage to do so, leaving Scout to make another touch. Does send it mid, but Rick is also there. Sent on net is a shot from Rick, cleared away by Scout with a backflip save. Those saves we don't see a lot because the tents not have as much power and they're more inconsistent. An own, an own goal coming out, <laughs> but it's saved away at the last possible second by Bride. As Sky's gonna be up for this, sending it over to the corner. Doesn't actually manage to get that great of a touch, but PC has control now. Thinking of Sending it past Earl and the other players for L7. Missing a pinch though towards net is Casey. Leaving him with a lot of boost and a reason to get back on net. Cleared away by double touch actually, or double commit rather. Uh, coming out from Earl and Scout though. Cleared away by Casey over to the right side of the field. Rick's there with the boost and the time. Sky's gonna go up on the wall. Doesn't actually manage to make a touch, but he chooses to play slow. Does work out for him as the slow play managed to fake out Rick. Leaving Brightest to rotate back in onto offense for, um, for uh, Newton's Law, and I'm out of breath, and I need a second. Fair enough. I will take over. Scout Brett is going to send this one up the wall and try to get off and get the ceiling shot here. I don't know that he can do it, but he does get the touch, not necessarily the shot. That's going to go to the other corner, so now Rick is going to try to take this ball up in, into the Lucky Seven's offensive zone, or defensive zone. Uh, he does get it past Sky, and now he has it past a bunch of players, and he gets it over Scout Brett. Rick just doing it all himself with a nice little dribble right there. I don't... I, I suppose that could be called a dribble. It wasn't necessarily on his car the whole time, but he did maintain possession the whole time and just fake the whole team finally bringing his team back into the game one to one tie game with a minute left plenty of options for both teams to come in and run away with this game and we see Earl coming out here early trying to get the shot right off the kickoff to take the lead back but he can't quite get it so now Scout Brett is going to try to send this one over center for somebody to take it but he can't it doesn't quite make it through so Earl takes this one off the wall and tries to get a touch. Scout Brett coming out of nowhere to get it as well. Casey now has to go up and try to get this one back into the corner. He gets a really soft touch, but Brightus is there to back him up and save him. Sky trying to get that, or I mean, sorry, Scout Brett trying to get that ball into center, but couldn't quite do it. Now Sky sending that one to back down. Oh no, Rick trying to put that ball on target. It's going off the crossbar, just barely misses for him. And now Scout Brett's going to try to put this one right over to Earl, but Earl wasn't quite ready for the pass. And so now Rick's going to come in, and it seems that everybody from Newton's Law is on that same side, which could be dangerous. But they seem to have spaced out now and allow for some better rotation coming in. And Brightus is going to send us back into the Lucky 7th zone. Brightus is going to try to get the shot here. It's a little high again. So, oh no, Rick has to come in and try to push this one off the corner. It's going in, and that ball is left for Casey with a great chance. But Earl comes in with the demo and the save just at the final seconds of the game. That's probably going to send us to overtime, and it does. Definitely. And honestly, right now, I think L7 is surviving. Earl needs to speed up his play and also trust his teammates more. I've seen so many double commits, especially this match, uh, coming out from him. And I don't think they're going to win this game if that keeps happening. Their, their offense is doing decent, but if they can just stop these double commits on defense, they can really get a strong push going. 
Speaking of a strong push cleared away by Earl, that guy that I was not really roasting, but stating stating my opinion on, leaving Rick to send that towards the middle of the field. Cleared away by Scout Red, though. Slow, rolling slowly back to Casey, though, who will get his first touch. Off the backboard, that is, and he goes for the double. Will manage to get there. That's the goal for Newton's Law. 2-0. Newton's Law is going to take the series. We saw Sky just not able to get up in time. He really wanted the dunk there, but he couldn't quite get the height. I think he thought it was going to go a little bit lower. And then both the players from Lucky 7 just kind of sitting in net. Neither of them going up to challenge that ball early. I think that's just a factor of not quite being used to uh, those backboard passes. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I don't know how Lucky 7 could have done that any better. Other, well, I mean, I do. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> they had a lot of double commits. They could have played a lot better. They could have whiffed less. You know, it, it's just... It's rough to play in that. I think that was a big game for them because they still had a chance to go to the playoffs, if I'm not mistaken. But I think that one just ended it, or maybe they had already. I could uh, be mistaken. I will look at the spreadsheet because I believe you're correct. But let's look. All right.